Today, we're searching for giant bass in ponds that we've never fished before. The first pond of the day really surprised us. It was non-stop fish catching from the moment we got our baits in the water. Later in the day, we found this pond that looked so good, but we just didn't know if it had bass in it. After making hundreds of casts, we then realized that this pond was loaded with giant bass. Terra monster, monster. I'm talking like giant, giant, giant. Watch out for the slippery little snakes. Just kidding. Not really. This looks so good. Pretty shallow, isn't it? Is it like dirt, like probably like two, three foot? Really? Oh my gosh, Tara, I don't, I don't know. Felt something. Like when it ate it, but it, there was nothing there. And all of a sudden I like loaded up on something. Oh, Tara, look at that. One just slammed the bank to the right of me. Really? Yeah. yeah, you see that boil? I don't like he would eat a dang frog. You gotta buy it. You got him? Biggin? Let's see what you got, girl. Yeah. Nice. Good fish, girl. Well, that's a good sign. We just saw one boil in that right hand corner by me. And then Tara just had her first bite. Look at that dog watching us. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. You see that like corner over there? So say the wind's like funneling up, the fish are gonna stage up in that corner because it's gonna push the bait fish. And just in general, the fish will bite like a moving bait better in the wind. Just the ripple, you know? Yeah. All right guys, I think we're gonna to creep around this place a little more. That corner's gonna be hot. Corner looks so good. Oh my gosh. If that was a bass, that was massive. It might have been a carp. If not, that was a five plus pounder. Should get bit over here, guys. So shit. Oh, I don't know if that was a bite or something on the bottom. Ponds are, oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Right off that point, look at this. This is a pretty big one. I think. Yeah, I'm just toting them in. That's not a bad one at all. Look at that. Jeez. Seemed like he was three pounds when I initially hooked him, but I'll take him. Not a bad one, like a two pounder. Beautiful fish. There's my first one. Tara got one a second ago. This pond hopping challenge is on the way, guys. That fish was right off on that point, right where he should have been. Beautiful. Wow. These fish aren't extremely fat in here, but they're still healthy. They're not like a super skinny, nor are they an extremely fat. It's like a good in the middle. Right there where I just casted, right off that corner, off that point, I hit some on the bottom and all of a sudden he just, he grabbed it place is very shallow i don't know if it was a little stump or a little hump on the bottom right when i went across it that's when he bit me that's a good sign i thought that was a <gasps> Tara, look at that that was a good one that was like a two and a half pounder three pounder oh my gosh yeah he just ate me right there maybe they're off the bank more that's how shallow it is I think he just hit me again. I, I thought I just stuck him though. Hold on. Wow. That was the next cast, guys. It might be stacked out here in the middle. He followed me back, ate me right there. I don't know if you could see it on the GoPro. It's crazy because I fished this beautiful looking corner over here. It just looks so good. 
couldn't have a bite. We start casting off this point and out in the middle and that's where most of these fish have came from. I think that one definitely followed me in from out in the middle. Oh, Tara, that was a big bite right there. Oh man. He just grabbed the back of it, like slapped it. Oh, some on the bottom out there. That was definitely like a little tree. It's probably what that fish came off of. Ooh, damn. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Little tiny guy. He hit it so hard that it knocked slack in my line. It's crazy because he followed it back too, like the other one. Guys, that one followed me back. That one did the same thing. He hit it so hard that it was just straight slack in my line. I could just see my line go into the right. Maybe it's that stump that I'm hitting out there. Maybe that's what they're coming off of and they're just fall having to follow me back. That point's been, it's been the money cast for me. I've had three bites here. Is there a trailer? There we go. Tara, that feels like a better one. Yeah, it is. Look at him skating a car. <laughs> Look at him. Just skating across. <laughs> he ate that thing so good, guys. Look at that. That is exactly how you want a bass to eat that chatter dog. Wow, he choked it. There we go. Not a big one. We're still hunting. Pretty one. Thank you, baby. There he goes. That one felt better. Right. Wasn't too much better. So if you guys are wondering how I'm working this chatter donk, I'm just throwing it out there. The depth is only between two and maybe four foot max. Very shallow in this pond. I'm letting it hit the bottom and just slowly reeling this thing. If I feel something on the bottom like a stump, I'm just kind of hopping it over it, continue reeling. That's what's been getting the success of the bites. Pop it every once in a while, keep that blade thumping. We're about to actually try to walk around. I'm gonna throw one more cast off this point. There's a little brush pile there. And then we'll walk around. Hoping to see if we can get some bigger ones in here and then we'll go hit another pond. It's the first time we've ever been here. Trying to find new areas, hunting for these giants. Hopefully we'll get lucky today and hit a good pond and have some solid three, four, five, six pounders in it. The other side of this tree looks amazing. Be careful. Watch out for the boogeyman. Oh my God, sorry. Listen, I tripped. Okay. Where are you taking me? Yeah, look at those trees right there. Looks so good. This is a side we couldn't cast to and instantly. That's the best one. Look at that one. Long bass. See, this one's pretty skinny. This is the one side of the pond that we couldn't get to. And uh, first cast in the, oh my gosh. Look at that fish, Tara. He's a hunchback. Oh my God. Isn't that crazy? Poor guy. He has like the potential of being like a high two pounder, but he's only like a pound and a half. Pretty fish though, an amazing start to today. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you, baby. Hopefully he can get his back fixed. Probably not. It was a good bite no? nonetheless. He hit that thing good. Pulled down my skirt on my chatter dock. There we go. I only brought one with me like a dummy. I didn't realize we we're gonna be getting this many bites. I didn't even know if there's gonna be fish in here. So this is the corner I was talking about with all the wind. And it seems so promising. You know, all the wind is pushing up in here. We got some lay downs, got a little bit of cover. And uh, we just couldn't cast because of that tree. When we walked around here, it gave us that openness be able to cast right in the money zone here and that was an instant bite there's definitely more fish in the area though that fish is not alone there you go oh my gosh i got one oh, oh my gosh 
Guys, I threw right in that tree and popped my bait out and looked the same way. And right when it hit the water, he ate it. That's insane. Another small one. That was crazy. It was like right when I popped out. He was just sitting there waiting. Probably just sitting there waiting to ambush that bait, you know. I like threw it two, two feet in front of me. I think if you could throw up on that tree, Terry, you might just... I can't believe that one bit me, right? Oh! Oh, he got it off front of everyone. Is he a big one? Is that a big one? Oh, nice! That's the biggest one yet! Oh no, is he in the tree? Terry, get him! Oh my gosh, that's a good one. That's like close to a three. Heck yeah, good job. That is a good one. Good job, girl. Yeah, that's a good one. That's what we're looking for. Good job, Tara. Can you take my picture right Yeah, I did. You got a nice one there. How you doing? Yeah, not good. a bad one. Y'all can't be fishing over here, though, guys. Fish over there all you want. Okay. On the golf course, proper, proper, you can get hit in the head with a golf ball. It's a liability. I understand completely. Yeah, that's a nice bass. Oh, thank thank you. you. Is there a day that the golf course closes? Or there's, is it open every day? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, well, yeah we'll, it's just a liability. I understand well, completely. Some pretty good sized gators out here. I hate to see it, like come up right there behind you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, man. I appreciate it. No All right, for sure. Sorry about that. No, you're good. Ooh, I got hit right there. Right off the end of that tree. I got one. I'm like barely loaded up on it. Are you getting bit too? You know what's crazy? Is that you just said that. Cause I was thrown off, you know, on the bank that whole time. Didn't get a bite. Threw that thing in the middle and that was instant. And you want to see something crazy? You see that? See his eyes? Yeah. His oh, I see curled. him now. I see him now. Yeah, let's curl down. See, I think they're in the middle because it's a slight drop off. Like, it's not much. It's just like it goes from, you know, a foot and a half to like two foot, maybe three. All right, guys, I think we're going to go hit another spot. This pond was not bad by any means, but um, we want to find bigger ones. And that last one she caught was good, but let's go hit somewhere else. I don't know how much I'm allowed to fish this or not, guys, but there is no no fishing signs. There is a gate. I can only assume for gators. This is like tannic water. We're not in anybody's yard or anything, too. We're just by a parking spot. Oh my god. This is literally a juicy frog pond, though, guys. You hear that? Sounds like a spillway or something down there, don't it? This place looks so good. All right, last cast. That's yeah, that was a bomb. That was worth a shot. <laughs> Never done that before. That was a first. All right, guys, we're out at the third stop of today, and this place looks freaking sauce, dude. I mean, this is just shousey, tossy. Hopefully, there's some fish in here. Ooh, look at that boil, tear. Do you see that right, right in front of me? This might be... This might be the juice. That yeah, water looks good. Everything, even the grass looks good. It has nothing to do with the fish, but it looks amazing. And we did just see a boil, so there seems to be life. When we come out to new ponds, like that we've just never been to before. Oh God, good thing I got boots on. The one question that, they, that I always have is like, is there fish in here? Because there's a ton of ponds that look good, but there might not be fish in there. So that's always the first question when we come out to these places, you know, is there fish? throw around a lot of casts, try to get some bites. You know, that's just how you determine if a pond is good or not. Sometimes, you know, the fishes aren't biting. You might have a bad day in a really good pond, but hopefully that's not the case today. We went to that one pond that we'd never been to and we ended up smoking a good bit. So hopefully this one's even better. This definitely looks like a pond that would have some bigger fish in it too. And it is not super shallow like the other one. Oh, look at these pipes that are coming up here, guys. 
Here we go. Yeah, that felt like a bite too. What am I feeling? Is there rocks or something there? I'm getting excited, guys. This place just looks like a hidden gem. Come on, fish. Yeah, there's rocks or something there. Makes that even spicier, in my opinion. Yeah, now there's a bunch of knocks on my bait. It's definitely rock. Had that one boil, so I have hopes. You got one? A big one? Oh, Tara! Oh my gosh! That's a good one, isn't it? Oh. Tara, that's a big one! Nice! Oh my gosh! Compared to that first pond, look how healthy that fish is. That's almost a three pounder. Wow, that's a good fish, Tara. Thank you. Want me to release them for you? That's three, three pounder all day. Guys, Tara just got the first fish out of this pond super thick and healthy. I mean, just beautiful beautiful fish these are the ones that we want i'm doing a nice release for y'all but i also want to be careful because the gators there he goes beautiful guy well that is so promising i'm gonna be honest i started to think that there wasn't bass in here well that's all we need to know about this place you caught one fish and it was freaking thick and healthy you can tell they don't eat that good in the other one this pond seems healthy yeah i think there's some big ones in here might be a place that you don't get many bites for the ones you get are good still searching for these giants guys i'd like to see a four or five pounder at least you've only got a couple today but the ones you've got have been good and this chowder dunk usually only hooks big ones but i caught a lot of dang twinkies on it it gives me some dang confidence I like this pond too because you're not bothering anybody you know you're kind of in your own element over on this side and nobody no houses or nothing Tara, that bite was insane. That was a big, big fish. Holy cow. I like have never had one hit a chatter donk that hard. Right here, Tara. Right there. That bite was insane. That was definitely another big fish. I like popped it off the bottom. I wasn't even working it like a chatter donk. And I felt like just one hard slam and he just didn't eat it all the way. I don't think I hooked him, but I definitely like had him, you know, kind of like torqued his body that was a big fish bite oh man all right we're gonna be patient here guys i think we can i think this is the place sun just came out of nowhere a little tree in the water Such a good fish, guys. He literally ate me right off that tree. Oh my gosh. I literally lined him up. I don't know if that was the same one. Not big, but a pretty guy. I don't know if that was the same bite because that boil was just intense. <laughs> oh man. I did not mean to fling that fish up. It's kind of funny. Maybe this little pocket's gonna be good. That bite I had right before just seemed like a good fish. The problem that I had was I threw right by that tree right there and I was reeling to the left and I tried to hook set into the right. So it just kind of pulled the bait right out of his mouth. I don't like hook set into the left. I feel more comfortable to the right and I just happened to mess up. That's all my fault. All right, you. Oh, she has a surprise for you. That was like a five pounder. I just totally, ah, totally messed up. Guys, that was a good fish. I missed a couple in the same little spot. I had that little one that I caught and I missed two really good bites. That one I saw, I mean, that was every bit of four and a half to five pounds. I casted it like five foot in front of me. I just, I felt them load up on it. I didn't really feel them thump it at all. I just straight up weight. Right when I went to hook set, he just, 
guess he didn't have it all the way in his mouth. I happened to pull him off. Definitely uh, figuring something out here, though. I want to land one of these big ones. A little two pounder, pound and a half. -er. Oh, he ain't even dead, he just a pound and a half. -er. So weird, that's like the third fish today is eating that. But, guys, look at these bass compared to the bass that we were catching in the other pond. It's just unbelievable, un freaking believable how pretty these fish are. It's actually where Tara caught her first one. There's big boys in here, definitely some big boy bass in this pond. I'm just waiting to see one. We had. Terry will catch that three. I had missed that good one, then I missed one that I actually hooked and saw that was every bit of four to five pounds. There's big fish here. It's just figuring out how to get them to bite and getting them to commit, really. They in here though. If we could have caught everything we missed, we'd be doing pretty dang good. Not that we're doing bad right now, but freaking biggins. And there's more rocks right here along this bank, guys. I can, I can feel them right under the surface. I'm just waiting on that dang seven, eight pounder. I know they're in here. How healthy these dang fish are. I can't believe there's none on this pipe with all these rocks. There's gotta be. Seems like a money spot. In front of that pipe. It's so shallow with the rocks, but you'd think there'd still be some just sitting up there. Like that. Tear monster, monster. I'm talking like giant, giant, giant. Giant, giant, giant. Why am I not landing these fish? I'm like getting beat up today, guys. I'm like having the opportunities. I'm not clutching up. We knew there were some giants in here. We've been talking about it the whole time. So right when I saw the boil, I felt the hit. It almost felt like a rock. When I hooked it, I knew how big he was. You know, I thought, I thought it was probably like a seven, eight pounder. I mean, he's probably six to seven, I'd say. That would have been my biggest pond fish in a minute. Man, that, man, they're in here. That's all I needed to know. Today was searching for giants, guys. And we have definitely found out how to find the giants, which that's the point of these episodes is hunting and finding and, and just keep working hard and being patient. And uh, we've been super patient. We've hit some a couple of new spots. We've never been to any of these places. and obviously we hit the right spot today i was looking at this place last night and it looked pretty good and uh we're gonna have to come back here if you want us to come back to this pond hit the like button because we'll come back and do it but uh man that was definitely one of the big biggins out of this pond i knew when i hooked him it was just business Gosh. another monster no it ain't I thought it was <clears throat> that's a good one though took me so many casts in that corner I'll take it man. took a dang two pounder all day I wish he'd be five pounds he felt good until I saw him jump pretty fish though these fish are coming guys slow and steady slow and steady I knew there was one in that corner that we could pluck out it took me probably 10 cast at least just patience man that's all today's been is patience especially this one been patience keep casting and keep cast and that's how we've been able to get bites if we would have just came out here and did what we did in the first 10 minutes of being out here which is just walking and casting probably wouldn't have caught a lot of these fish they're a little slower today you can tell and it's really taken a lot of cast to get a fish to bite it's very weird all right those are things that we got to pay attention to when you're fishing and uh it's definitely made today successful all right guys well i think that's all she wrote in this pond we're not stopping now let's keep it going did you see that alligator see the yeah he crawled in the water over there i'll just be careful
Oh my god. Oh dear. That was a dangle. That was a dangle, guys. Oh my gosh. I dangled the dang chatter dog all the way across the pond. Oh. oh my gosh, and look how he ate it. That is how that bash just ate that dangle bite. That was officially the longest dangle to catch I've ever had. Not even that big. Push it two pounds. He's all the way by that pipe. I was just dangling it. I saw him swirl on it. Wow. I can't believe that. That was insane. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. He ate me right at the freaking bank, man. That's a good three pounder. Look at that, boys. Heck yeah. Now we getting on him. That's a good one, ain't it? Look how fat he is. Right there. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you, buddy. That's amazing. I'm trying to be careful because there's dang gators in there. Yeah, he ate me right at the bank. All right, guys. Oh, almost got hooked on something there. We made it to the final pond today, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Will we hook a massive one? Will we get some redemption? Or will we leave empty-handed? I don't think we'll leave empty-handed. I think we're gonna get some redemption here. I sure hope so, at least. We had hooked some really massive fish today that I've just got off. And uh, it's very unfortunate how it panned out, but it's one of those things, if you guys want us to, we'll definitely come back to these and fish them again and try to get some revenge. That scared the heck. Oh, did he try to eat your worm? What was that? That was the most awkward thing. That was the weirdest thing. What's he doing? Oh, he's right there. Birds are so weird. That was so weird. What in the world is going on? Yeah, let's go ahead and walk around this, guys. I think we have an opportunity presenting itself here in a moment. I know we can uh, catch some big ones, guys. We can make it happen. I feel it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. I, I got like, I got slammed. He's running with you. What was that? I was hook set, I came out. Hook set in a bluegill? <laughs> <laughs> I've backlashed so hard. Get around the tree bush. Get around the tree. Looks like some boils down here. This pond's a lot narrower than the other ones we've been to today. Easily just flick the wrist and cast across it. Come on, big mama. I know you're in here. I feel it. not a big one. Oh my god he had he knocked me so hard and started running with it that i just didn't know what i had for a moment there 